Hello guys, today's video is how to farm all the legendary gems in Diablo 3, a guaranteed way of doing it every time. It's very, very simple. Every time you kill a greater Rift Guardian, it will drop you a legendary gem, which is great. What's the best way to do this? The best way to do this, guys, is firstly, complete a normal Rift and get yourself a Keystone of Trials. Uh, pop this in the Obelisk in town, um, start the event. And as soon as you pour inside the event, immediately teleport out, okay? Let the timer run all the way to zero. Talk to the NPC at the stone. And it awards you with a level one greater rift key. Just level one, so it's super, super easy. So as you see, I'm in a game here right now. And uh, just rift live difficulty level one. So easy. It's like playing normal, basically. Then what you want to do, you want to come into this rift, guys, like I have here. And just get, fill up the bar all the way up to the top. Fill it up all the way up to the top. And you want the timer to run down under four minutes. It must be under four minutes. If you do it under four minutes, when you kill the Rift Guardian, you can upgrade the next gem uh, to get another great Rift Code and only go up to level two. Okay? And then basically, you can farm every level. You can farm absolutely every level and you get loads and loads of gear, legendaries, gold, everything, gems, and of course, uh, a legendary gem as well. So if, if this is the first time you've done this, the yeah, Greater Rift Guardian will always drop you a greater gem. So you can just do this, you can just stagger this out and farm absolutely every level. So you can make one Greater Rift Keystone last ages. It's brilliant, it's absolutely awesome. So uh, I've just got to wait until this goes down to four minutes. And uh, it's very, very easy. It's really, really good. So you just farm yourself tons and tons of stuff. I've already gemmed up a few pieces of my stuff already. I've got the Gorgeous Swiftness in here. And um, Enforcer Gem. I'm quite sure you guys the other gems as well. Guys, if, also, if you've got um, some time to kill like this, you can pour out as well. You can just pour out. So you've got your portal here. And then you can go goblin farming, for instance. You can go into Halls of Agony level 2. Jump into here and look for the goblins while you've got a bit of time to kill. And this is what I do personally, anyway. So you might get yourself a Greed's Realm. And just zoom around. So you can do that if you want to. But we ain't going to do that just now. But so you can just go in there and just, you, know, you can kill some time. Just make sure you don't use your teleport to teleport out because you lose your waypoint back in the Greater Rift. You have to run all the way through. So uh, let me quickly show you the gems I've farmed so far. I've actually farmed all of them now. Uh, so we've got the uh, Gemmas Infectious Toxin there. Uh, Invigorating Gemstone. Basically all of them. Reef of Lightning. Uh, Teardrop of the Star Weaver. Uh, Bane of the Powerful. Bane of the Trapped. Uh, Simplicity Strength. Mortarotum, uh, Tailguk, uh, Pain Enhancer, which is quite cool as well, and Z Zone of Vengeance. And the other two got guys in my guys in my gear, which I said earlier. is a gorgeous swiftness, which I absolutely love. And of course, uh, the uh, Enforcer Gem, which gives you pet damage. I'm currently rank 18. It already gives me 20.4% extra damage already. So, uh, yeah, so guys, while you're waiting for the timer to bleed down to about four minutes or less, um, yeah, like I said, you could just go do some goblin farming, go hoard back to level two. You know what I mean? You might be get yourself a Greed's Realm in the meantime, or maybe go to the Old Ruins, for instance. And uh, yeah, you can just obviously put yourself on a timer, have a little stopwatch next to you saying, you know, how much time you've got left. Make sure you time it. Like sometimes there's a goblin in here, in this little cellar. Have we got him this time? Oh no, he didn't pop this time. There's a little chest up there. Lovely. So yeah, so when you go, just make sure you don't port back to town. You, have to, you must manually go back and use the waypoint pad, okay? So don't, 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 uh, don't waste your portal. <laughs> Don't waste your portal. Okay, so let me pop back into this rift now. And we've got about a minute 16 left, so it's very, very easy. So yeah, guys, so basically you can just farm up all the gear, and it's extremely good. You can just do every level. I've done this, and I've farmed an absolute ton of legendaries. I mean, absolutely loads. Because could you get that massive loot explosion at the end, there's quite a high chance of getting other legendaries as well. And I've found some really nice stuff. They're in the stash at the moment, but um, what did I find? I found, uh, I think I found another furnace the other day doing this, which is crazy because they're a really low drop chance. But it does take a little bit more time, but it gives you that guaranteed drop rate for all your legendary gems and other gear, and especially uh, like just base gems, where you get tons of base gems as well, which is nice. And of course, some extra gold. So we've got about 30 odd seconds left now. Let me just start making my way up to the boss. But if if you, you don't have to break it down to four minutes, but under four minutes it will only advance you one level, because it's all about it's not about um, how much damage you're doing or anything like that. You know, it's all about this timer. So if, if obviously if the timer was down right down here and I completely and kill the rift guard, it probably advanced me to like level thirty straight away. So you know, doing it this way, we can just you know just stagger it out and uh, just do a really good farming run. It works really well. So let me just make a last few seconds there. Five, four, three. There we go. 
Right, let's kill this guy. It's gonna be easy because it's only level one. We can just walk into this guy. Boom, he's dead. Blah blah blah. Ooh! Carnival! Get the frick in! Nice! See what I mean, guys? That's what I was talking about. You can stagger these levels out and you can get yourself extra loot. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And of course all the topaz is and all that. So now we've got the uh, <laughs> very nice uh, legendary mask. Let's hope this rolls well. Very nice, my nice. And uh, then we talk to Urshi, and what you can do now, you can upgrade your gem or upgrade your keystone. We're upgrading our keystone, and there you go. Look, just level two. Press continue. Blah blah blah. You pour out. And go, just pour on out. Boom. And talk to this guy. Close it down. And now you're warded with a level 2 keystone. So basically you can just stagger it out level after level after level. Um, normally it would always drop you a gem there as well. But I've already got all the gems. But those Great Rift Guardians will always drop you the, a gem which you don't have. In total there's 13 which you can get from Greater Rifts. And uh, one from Greed's Realm. Which is the secret goblin realm. Where you get all the gold. Where you kill a goblin in it. It was a pool. Blah 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 blah. So let's quickly check this helm. You never know. It might be quite nice. Come on baby. Roll with Vit. Come on Vit 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 Vit. No vit, bastard. Oh well, no oh, well. It does have crit in it though. It's not too bad. I got one better than Snash, but you see, you, know, you can you can find myself some really good loot doing this method. It's very, very good. A little bit more time consuming, but it works. Yeah, especially if you're first time playing through the Great Rift to get your gems, it's very, very easy. Then you what you do, you just go back up to Rift Port again, pop this in, and do exactly the same thing again. Go through the whole game. Uh, put the progress bar right up to the top again. Don't kill the Rift Guardian straight away, just let the timer bleed down to four minutes or left and you only advance one level. And you start getting yourself some fat loot from guys like this. This is not too bad at all. It's alright. And there you go guys, that's how you farm Greater Rift Man for all the legendary gems and extra bonus, uh, extra bonus loot. As usual guys, please like and subscribe if you've got any comments, stick them below. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Give us the loot, baby! Give us the loot.